I wanted to ask you, how much does discounting play into your overall e-commerce strategy? Like, are you, I, it's funny, like uh, I, I work with Shine On a little bit and it's like they're, they're you know, mo a lot of these e-commerce stores, their status quo is to have discounts listed as a tool. Is, is that something, is, do you use it a lot and does it become less effective the more it's used? Um, so we have a lot of brands that actually won't give, like they truly don't really give discounts. In fact, that, um, it, it, in fact, like they just, they just don't give, give free shipping or a free gift or a free hat with a purchase of something, you know? Um, but there are certain brands that the discounting works very well for. Um, if, if you have something that you can give that has a very high perceived value, it is like the DVD set and the shirt, which is valuable. They do sell it for a hundred, you know, they sell that stuff for 120, $125 on the store. Um, it's, it's better to give them that gift than it is to just give them 20% off. Sometimes they're only saving, you know, 10 bucks or, or five bucks. Um, but to answer your question, we do run discounts heavy. Some of our brands run very, very, very heavy discounts. Um, I'd say this year kind of seems like the, the, the trend was to go BOGO, uh, buy okay. one, get one rather than giving big discounts. And that's essentially equates to a 50% discount. But the, the thing that we're really, um, in, in all marketers should really think about this in, in the direct response world is, um, is you want to pay attention to your average order value. If you're giving discounts, but you're getting a cost, if your normal cost for purchase is $10 and you're getting a $5 cost for purchase during the holidays, but you're giving such heavy discounts that your average order value plummets, your return on ad spend, your ROAS is going to lower. It, it, it might not be any better than it normally was without the holidays around. Like, What was the point of giving the discount? You spent a lot of money and you returned the same amount you know, you, you return the same amount basically that, that, that you normally would. And so we do use discounts, but we're really careful to not offer really big discounts on the stuff that are best sellers or that keep our average order value up. So I'll give you an example. Um, we, we work with, um, a, a rodeo lifestyle brand called Lane Frost. Um, you know, they, they have, um, products that are, are their best selling products that are often ordered. Um, and, and it doesn't like, if we were to if we were to offer a big discount on that, it would it would take our average order value down quite significantly. So, so what we're doing there is we offer thirty percent off on one tier of products, twenty percent off on another tier of product, and ten percent off on another tier of product. And that and that's essentially like it's based on margin and also based on like how much those products cost. Uh, so that we're managing our average order value a little bit more strategically than 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 you would. And I think that just the, the one final step on that is if you are going to run discounts, like you should always make sure write down like, OK, this is my ad spend. It's, it's I have a ten thousand dollar ad spend. My normal customer acquisition cost is ten bucks. OK, my average order value is this. You know, I'm estimating my average order value will be this after I give discounts. What is my return on ad spend going to be? If you're not pre-penciling out, like and making sure your numbers you know, work out before you're launching your ads with those discounts, you're doing it wrong. You know, you, you got you got to make sure that the numbers pencil out before you launch it. And that goes that goes with everything you're saying too about how you plan campaigns months in advance and with with the right buildups and the right the right incentives. It's really, I think, a lot of uh, you know the the scrappy mindset. It traditionally would be like, hey fly into it and, and, and see how it goes and go from there. But like, it's interesting that you've learned to be a lot more sort of, um, you know, procedural about how you do all this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's funny, I was, I was listening to Nick Shackelford's post about he, like his, his results from Black Friday this year versus last year. They were similar. I'm sure they were great. They were, he said they were similar, but, he, but this year there was way less stress, way less because they had these procedures in place a lot more. They knew, they knew what to expect. So I'm sure every Black Friday that passes, you just build your expertise and, and get better and better. Make it easier on yourself and the client, probably. Yeah, I can tell you that last year we worked on Thanksgiving, Black Friday, that Saturday, that Sunday, <laughs> and, and, and you know, and 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 even leading up to that, there was a lot of hair pulling. Uh, and and this year it was, hey, uh, 
let's talk on Thanksgiving morning. Let's talk on Friday. Let's make sure that everything is running properly. We had to troubleshoot a couple of minor issues, but other than that, everyone got to enjoy times with their family. So uh, we, we were really stoked about that this year. And, and we did honestly, um, three months in advance, we're, we're thinking about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, droughting discounts, removing certain products from the store, you know, encouraging clients to release new products for this weekend. You know, there, there was a, just a lot of strategic planning that went into this year's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, powwowing with clients many, many, many times before we launch. Very cool. Nice. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about Las Vegas. We've got uh, you coming to speak along with, I think, 13 other amazing speakers for Facebook and e-commerce live. We have you speaking on day one, sort of the agency focus Facebook ads day. Uh, so I want to just talk.